and then this is one up in here coming with a speed hack for um, compiling and testing your game so a known issue is for example you got your game and you want to just you roll two three lines and then you just pressing f5 and then <laughs> one minute of uh, compiling building time this is terrible once again for me and for everybody else if this is taking so long so not everybody can go each time they want to test to to make a coffee or go for a run or i don't do some do something else this is terrible so therefore if you think so, which you should be taking into consideration then spoiler alert it's those two guys here sprites and sounds they're the biggest 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 culprits in this kind of regard to boost these things to an optimal level already so if you want to know a little bit about that and then of course about a little bit about compiling but in a crash course manner then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course the first thing is you want to just test out your game or you want to export it to a target platform then you do compiling and compiling just basically means what what well, you put things together you assemble from various sources into a format which is good and then of course you can test it out or so this is for testing or for example you create a final executable package for a specific target platform which could be windows mac os so here ubuntu html android ios and so on so once again these two things are for compiling and basically just sticking and stitching things together so they work on the specific target platform this is the whole idea behind it so let's go for example for here this is a setup for windows and then if you want to just see it normally this is the first standard one so for windows then your virtual machine you can use their own yo-yo uh, compiler not recommended for beginners here a little bit more difficult to handle uh, concerning uh, error management and so on and therefore it and the compile time will be longer but if you are advanced user and then of course you need to have microsoft visual studio and so on so therefore definitely more advanced stuff here just stick with their virtual machine which you just press i don't know f5 or this little triangle thing and boom you're building but of course as you can see uh, it's predicting one minute this is way too long so how can we actually uh, make this and boost it to a thing so let's say you are in the beginning or the middle stage of your game and all your sprites are already finished so all your characters backgrounds order and you just dump them in this is a terrible idea because what compiling is actually doing is it's taking all the resources which you're having in your sprites and in your sound effects so for example i don't know if you got some 50 megabytes music files or whatever this is then being copied and put into a specific format of the target platform and therefore this is what then game maker is basically doing just stitching all together so if you got a project which is already one gigabyte of a file size then you can just imagine that it is putting everything together into a temporal folder into uh well and caching that stuff and therefore it's just taking tons of resources for no reason and you just wanted to test two new uh lines of code which you wrote so therefore terrible idea to do so please if you are in the beginning phase or in the mid phase don't input all your sprites and all that stuff in there especially high resolution sprites which are just being cluttered in there and of course high resolution uh, music files these are the biggest culprits so if you have them already in your game and you want to boost your uh, speed here then what you can do is just i don't know replace your found uh, your sound and your music files which are huge by some dummies which are empty or there's nothing in there and therefore you can just boost the overall speed because a lot of times you don't need the sound to hear each time you test it so therefore just input whatever is needed in your thing so why is that in for example in my example already so big and it's taking one minute well because the game is almost, almost finished so i'm just debugging a little bit changing a few things here and there and therefore this is totally fine another thing how you can boost uh, your performance in that um, the faster your pc and the better your hdd or your uh, plastic sdd 
is then of course then it, it makes and, and makes things a little bit faster so once again your hard drive and of course your memory internal of, of your system um, has an impact on compiling times also so once again the faster PC, the pc the better the overall um, performance will be in the end so this is should be a no-brainer but of course if you're running on a potato like my pc <laughs> then uh, optimizing these things is not a bad idea so once again this is just for compiling uh, putting things together for an exitable so uh, of a target platform or just for testing here on run or debug which is kind of similar here of course a few a little more functionalities therefore just if you want to optimize it keep these guys here as small as possible I don't know, you just use the uh, empty rectangles, which you just uh, draw and then it game. this game of course will look ugly, but the idea is that you can quickly prototype and test and see things for yourself. And then at the very, very, very last stages, you add sprites and at the extremely last stage, you input sound effects. So this is how the order. So first of all, just your objects. And if you're just wondering, this uh, project is around 200 megabytes so this is still kind of small and then uh, i got bazillions of those objects and the whole uh, folder is like uh, under two megabytes in total so the biggest culprits are sitting here and then just uh, while well, clocking up the whole memory usage overall so once again this is not terrible one minute is still good but um, I've seen like some some project files which are around one gigabyte or more and then the the loading times were atrocious you just have to imagine you have to well load one gigabyte into a temporal folder so kind of caching it Ugh, not good definitely not working too fast so therefore just keep it simple in this kind of regard so hopefully you got something out of that I just saw it in from, well, from one of my subscribers and just ask why the loading times are so low. Well, this is the thing. Just keep these dudes as small as possible and then you have an optimal system for testing and, uh, well, changing stuff quickly on the fly. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Hopefully that was of enjoyment and you now know how or what not to do at the very beginning of making a video game so once again spoiler not inputting those guys or just the very very minimum and keep them low resolution all right that was it from my side have a good one wanna bindi